Welcome to today. My sister and I are going to be attempting to create beachy waves using a flat iron and this beachy waves is actually inspired by Olivia Colpo, Jessica Alba, and also Khloe Kardashian. If you have seen their hairstyles, I really do like those messy type of beachy waves. And basically, we're just gonna do that on my sister's hair since I don't use heat on my hair. So she's gonna try and do that to herself. Um, and also I'm gonna try to do the other portion of her hair by myself. So that you all can see. And also since summer is coming, this hairstyle would be great to wear in this time of year. So let's get started. My sister is going to attempt and try it on her hair first. We've been watching tutorials on how to do this. So she's gonna attempt and do it on her own hairs. So I don't have any doubt. Um, I need to put the hair. And then twirl it. Twirl it. Yeah, just like that. Just like this. Twirl it one more time. So we reach at the bottom. Until I reach the bottom. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. That's really a bad transition. <laughs> again. again. Yeah, you can do that again. So twirl it. Twirl it. Until we reach at the bottom. Until we reach the bottom. Yeah. And then there. Ooh, nice. There we go. So we get the same thing yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. There. Mm -hmm. So this is also kind of a tutorial for you guys who are doing this to your ah! own hair. So it's totally fine if you make a mistake just like that or anything. Because <laughs> okay. you're learning. Yeah. Ah. It's been a long time okay. since I've um, tried to curl someone's hair using a curling iron. So this would be kind Me of like too. a challenge. So there. There, there you go. Okay. Doing a great job, Anna Laura. Okay. okay, next one. Yay. And what's next? The other way yeah, around. Yeah, other way right? around. Yeah. Like this? Yep. It has to be like in an opposite direction. Okay. Yet the finished product at the moment. Okay. We'll have to like comb it out later. Okay, so in here I'm gonna try and curl it away from your face. So you can also angle the um, curling iron just like this. So I'm just gonna twist that, twist and slide it down. And there you go. Aww. That could be another wave too. So that's it. And it looks much better if you do it. <laughs> It's actually way easier if someone else is doing this to your own hair. But Are you doing it on like the opposite direction? Yeah, you're doing it in the opposite direction. And it's also good and very important to actually use a flat iron that is really good because there are some flat irons that um, doesn't damage. really heat up that fast. So you can really damage your hair because mm. you have to do it all over again. Exactly. That's that in this area right here. And as I said. Don't worry if it looks like that because we'll go, we we're going to be brushing it out later and all that. So that's just gonna remain like that at the moment. <laughs> so all right, you want to do like the top part? Okay, yes. It's like my version versus your version. <laughs> Shut up. Here we go again with this whole competitiveness. <laughs> okay, you guys, as a tip, always remember that curl it um, away from your face. Am I doing you... it right? Yep, you're curling. You have to curl it away from your face. So that it will frame your face better versus curling the hair inwards. And the beachy waves, guys, it doesn't have to be like perfect. Yeah. Anyway. So mm -hmm. the, the Jessica Alba mentioned the the more it is random. Um, yeah, random. And messy the better. The messy the better. So I, I think I'm doing a great job. <laughs> All right, you're done? Okay, I'm gonna work on this side of her hair. Also, when you do this, it's great if you actually section your hair. Um, with us, it's not very much section. Um, usually when I flat iron the hair, I don't necessarily go all the way and like curl them too because you don't want them to look like those perfect ringlet curls, right? So you still want that like kind of a straightness on the ends. So my side is done 
and what we're going to be doing is on this side, we're going to be combing it on my side, and then on her side, we are going to be brushing it. Now, Laura, why don't you go ahead and um, brush your side of the hair first? Go ahead, brush it out. Oh, whoa, it's like fluffy, girl. Brush it even more. Let's make it more relaxed and let's see how that thing, how that would look like. I think if you want to start the waves on top, then you must curl it here on top. So at least you will have more volume here, than more. Next time we can do that, or maybe I can just like tease that part a little bit, so that it'll add more texture and style to your hair, so that it doesn't look like like everything is so put together and formal. It has to be messy too, you know. So well. Anyway, since this is all an experiment and all that, just so. comb your hair at this side. I'm so excited! Ooh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like if we just finger combed it, that would be. Yeah. That would already be. <laughs> That's what I'm also thinking, just finger uh -huh. comb the hair. And also, since your hair has layers, so that's why you got more texture. I feel like this is happening because it's fresh and all that, but as soon it relaxes even more, it's gonna be just like beachy waves. So yeah. But I still do like it, like girl, I like it. I like my area. <laughs> the ones that I did better. Right? I'm kidding. It may not be like the super, super beachy waves. As I've said, it's because like she doesn't have one length hair. She actually has multiple layers on her hair and considering that her hair is thick. So what would you expect? You know, that's the thing. So maybe if we do this, it'll add more like, ooh, ooh. It's a little volume. It looks like I have a very fluffy, <laughs> bitchy wave. No, but it's pretty. I like it. Especially this side better. <laughs> I think we'll have to wait until her hair really settles in and all that because I feel like adding in more curls to this it's just gonna make her hair look puffy. It's because it's just the style of her hair and the density of her hair as well and the thickness. So we'll have to work with what you have. I feel like if your hair is thin, this is so gonna work for you. Yeah. And it's gonna add more volume to your hair. Or if my hair doesn't have layers. Yeah, or if your hair doesn't have layers. Most of the people that I've seen like having this hair either have one length hair, but still, this is actually a really nice beachy wave so that you can wear to the beach and all that, right? Yes. Like we both did a good job. I actually like yours as well because it's kind of like an everyday natural waves. If you started like on top right here, that would be really nice, you know, and all that. And also considering that your side is actually thinner compared to the side that I was working on. So which side did you guys like? Did you guys like my sister's side? Or did you guys like the side that I made? Let us know in the comments down below. This was actually a fun thing yeah. to try and undo because I know to some people when you watch tutorials, especially on other people's hair or on celebrities' hair, um, when you do it, you will kind of like expect that it's going to come out exactly the same as theirs, but we all have different hair textures and um, hair lengths and hair densities. So yeah, and hairstyle. So of course, if you try it out, it's not gonna look exactly the same, but I guess, you know, this one, I, I do like it. I still do like Me it. Too. Okay, so if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next one or we will see you on our next one. Bye! Bye.